So, this video will serve as a demonstration for how to use watercolor paints for first graders and also how to complete the birds of color activity where you are mixing secondary colors using the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. So to begin, um, I'd like everybody to remember that water is the most important part when using watercolor paints. So go ahead and fill up your color pods with some water. Make a nice little swimming pool in there. And we're gonna start with red. Drink up some of that red pigment into the bristles of your brush. You can use your paper towel to test if you want. And then fill in your first bird. You don't wanna give your paintbrush a bad hair day by rubbing the paintbrush back and forth. Instead, try and keep all the bristles going in the same direction as you carefully pull the paint across the surface of the paper. If it starts to get a little bit too light, go back in, drink up some more of that pigment, and spread it around. The more water you have, the lighter your color will be. Okay. Now it's very important to wash your brush before we dip into the yellow. Go ahead and blot it on your paper towel to make sure that your brush is totally clean. And then fill up your next color with water. Make sure there's plenty of water in there. And now we're going to skip over our orange bird that would be next in our progression and go to the next secondary color, which is yellow. You want to make sure to keep your yellow very clean. Okay, and next we have blue. We'll wash our brush again. Fill it up with plenty of water. Mix it around. Drink up some of that pigment. And we're gonna skip the next bird and go to the one, two, three, four, fifth in the sequence. Fill that in. Okay, now for our secondaries. We're gonna get a nice clean brush and we're gonna drink up a bunch of yellow and we're gonna use our tray to mix our orange. I like to do a three to one ratio. So we're gonna put one drop and then two drops and then three drops. You can scrape it off on the edge there. Get our brush clean, drink up some of the red and mix our orange. So it was three drops of yellow and just one drop of red. Okay, and now we can fill in our orange bird. Okay, next we have our green. So we know that yellow and blue make green. And again, we're gonna use that same ratio of three drops of yellow to just one drop of blue to make green. I'm gonna make sure my brush is very clean before I put it back in the yellow. And I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow to my yellow swimming pool here. Make sure we have plenty of yellow. All right, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, Clean my brush, get a drop of the blue, put it in, mix it around till I have a nice green. So it was three yellows, one blue to make the green. And now we can fill in our green bird. I'm making sure that all the bristles are staying in the same direction and I'm gliding across the paper. Oops, I almost cheated. And the last secondary color we're mixing is purple for our purple bird. And we know that red and blue are the two primaries we need to make purple. I'm gonna start again with that three to one ratio. And since my blue is a stronger color, I'm gonna take three drops of red this time. One, 
two, three, clean my brush, and I'm going to try one at first and see how that works. Mix it around. Perfect. And then I will just fill in my last bird. And if my brush ever gets too dry and streaky, I know I need to get more water. All right, so now that is done, I'll make sure my name is in the bottom right hand corner. And then I will put it on the drying rack.